morning prayer on Friday, continuing to pray for God's healing using the Iona liturgy. We gather in your presence, God, in our need and bringing with us the needs of the world. We come to you for you come to us in Jesus and you know by experience what human life is like. We come with our faith and with our doubts. We come with our hopes and with our fears. We come as we are because you have invited us and you have promised never to turn us away. Loving God, you gather us here before you, here where many have come before us, seeking your healing, strength and love. You know us, God. You understand who we are. You know what troubles and puzzles us, what makes us smile and what makes us sad. You listen to our questions and our prayers. You know the people we love, God, and the people we struggle with. Sometimes we hurt others. Sometimes we hurt ourselves. So we bring our own hurt, asking for your healing. And we bring the hurt we have caused others, asking for forgiveness. Listen to these words of Jesus, words that we can trust. Don't be afraid. I love you. Your sins are forgiven. I will be with you always. Write these words in our hearts, loving God. Let them take root in our living. Amen. And our reading continues in Isaiah 41, beginning at verse 21. Set forth your case, says the Lord. Bring your proofs, says the King of Jacob. Let them bring them and tell us what is to happen. Tell us the former things, what they are, so that we may consider them and that we may know their outcome. Or declare to us the things to come. Tell us what is to come hereafter, that we may know that you are gods, do good or do harm, that we may be afraid and terrified. You indeed are nothing and your work is nothing at all. Whoever chooses you is an abomination. I stirred up one from the north and he has come. From the rising of the sun, he was summoned by name. He shall trample on rulers as on mortar, as the potter treads clay. Who declared it from the beginning so that we might know and beforehand so that we might say he is right? There was no one who declared it, none who proclaimed, none who heard your words. I first have declared it to Zion, and I give to Jerusalem a herald of good tidings. But when I look, there is no one. Among these, there is no counsellor who, when I ask, gives an answer. No, They are all a delusion. Their works are nothing. Their images are empty wind. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice on the earth, and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, 
who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk on it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks be to God. And so we pray, beginning with our collect. God the Father, help us to hear the call of Christ the King and to follow in his service, whose kingdom has no end, for he reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, one glory. Amen. And so we bring before God those situations, those people, all those things that we long to see God's healing touch upon. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, heal each one in body, mind and spirit and free your creation from all that harms. In Jesus' name, amen. The prayer of St Augustine. Watch now, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend your sick ones, O Christ. Rest your weary ones. Bless your dying ones. Soothe your suffering ones. Shield your joyous ones. And all for your love's sake. We bring our prayers together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. God to enfold us, God to surround us, God in our sleeping, God in our waking, God in our watching, God in our hoping, God on our lips, God in our lives. Healed by our God, go into your day, bring healing to each encounter. Amen.